Mm, that smells good. Usually the round ones, I can't always count on those, but that was good. Happy Valentine's Day 2021, guys. Ain't it exciting? I made myself another Cosmo. I know I had one of these in a recent video, but you know what? It's the only pink drink I could come up with. Mwah. Okay, I still love a Russell Stover's box of chocolates and I'm not ashamed. I thought I would do a video that is my top 10 pink products. Still fun and Valentine's Day themed, but I also feel like it's a little bit more useful than just like another Valentine's Day look because you know what? We, we have enough of those. We have enough fabulous Valentine's Day looks. I I love pink. It's one of my favorite colors and I think it's one of the most universally flattering makeup colors when it comes to lip products and when it comes to blush. So the first product is my most repurchased Pat McGrath product point blank. This is the Lust Gloss in the shade Pale Fire Nectar. This is a tiny mini version of it. I've actually gone through two full size versions of it and this is like my backup until I buy a third full size of it. But this is what I have on my lips today over just like a pale pink lipstick. This isn't just like a normal pink lip gloss. Oh my gosh, it matches my nails right now. Like literally, I didn't even intend on that, but damn. So it has little gold and pink reflex in it, which I love because it just makes your lips look even juicier. It doesn't look like glitter. It looks like glimmer or shimmer, which I prefer. This is one of my favorite lip gloss shades of all time. Is there like a seat that tells you what's in here? Oh, it's a truffle. Hmm. I just read that each one of these pieces is 150 calories. Cheers. So you know the 21 questions makeup edition that Ellie Glines put out? I was watching her video recently and she was talking about how her favorite drugstore product is actually one of my favorite drugstore products. And that is the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss. So I have two different shades here to show you because I love them both equally and they're both pink. So first we have the shade Luminoso and I'm almost out of this. I'm down to the very bottom. That's how much I love this shade. And there's also a sparkling pink. So sparkling pink is definitely more pink. The Luminoso has a little bit more of like a peachy tinge to it. You know, I have so much lip gloss that I've kind of forgotten about these but these really are next level when it comes to drugstore lip glosses these feel just as nice as you know the fenty lip glosses or the pat mcgrath honestly like they feel so plushes definitely in my opinion one of the best things you can buy at the drugstore in terms of cosmetics so next i'm moving on to a couple lips Sticks. This is by Rare Beauty. This is their Lip Souffle, which you know is one of my favorite lip products ever. I chose the particular shade Ascend. It is a hot pink. I have about, I want to say like five or six of these shades, and this is definitely my favorite. If you guys are not familiar with this formula, it really is like magic. It goes on so beautifully. See how it blends out? It almost is like the lipstick version of the Shiseido Minimalist whipped powder blushes. I have worn this under a mask and it definitely comes the closest to having the best staying power underneath the mask. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna come off on your mask because that's gonna be a lie, but it's gonna come off the least. And this is my new favorite. This is the Lisa Eldridge lipstick in the shade Velvet Carnival. This doesn't look like the most perfect piece of hot pink velvet that just shot out of this tube. I don't know what does. This formula is another sort of like unicorn formula. It is so comfortable. I I am not a huge fan of matte lipstick, but this, this I love. I mean, that is just the perfect hot pink. This looks like a good one. What do you think it is? Mm. Oh, it's a turtle. Mm. I love a turtle. Okay, you know what? I just want to show you that Lisa Eldridge on my lips right now. It looks like someone drew cartoon hot pink lips on my face. That is just the most beautiful lipstick coverage I think I've ever seen. Mm. So good. I think this is toffee. Yep, it's so buttery. Stuck in them. Stuck in my filling. Now we're moving on to blush. I just used this in a recent live stream as well as in my St. Elmo's Fire video. This is the Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo Palette. This cream blush is absolutely stunning and I know that this looks not quite like true pink. It's more of like a corally pink but I'm not mad about it. I did put this on today. I love this palette. I think I might love it even more than last year's version of this palette because there's just two shades. You know what I mean? There's nothing to choose between 
between. It's really simple and straightforward, but I think these shades would look gorgeous on almost every skin tone. So I know I switched over to the Lisa Eldridge lip, but I was really, I don't know, I just really feeling like a super juicy, glossy lip. So I'm gonna go back. Maybe I'll try on one of these Milani lip glosses for you guys, just to mix it up. This is the sparkling pink shade. Also, these are so nourishing. I don't even feel like I need to use a lip balm. Love that fatty doe foot. Look at how perfectly pink that is. That is gorge. Now I'm moving on to a product that was sent to me by Aether Beauty. And let me tell you, I didn't know a lot about this company, but damn, I was blown away. This is their crystal charged cheek palette. I mean, can we just have a moment for this really cool geometric packaging with the holographic situation right here? I am absolutely in love. It also has this handy dandy little strap to keep it closed, I guess. I thought this looked really nice. I wasn't like, oh, this is gonna blow my socks off, you know, but wow, was I wrong because I applied this. I actually have this on today and I might need to put on a little bit more. This is the only shade I have on today over that Natasha Denona cheek, but in my live stream, I just applied this. Like no double blushing, no cream blush on underneath. It was absolutely stunning. Of course, I'm gonna just add some more right now. And then if you want to intensify it, you can use this shade right here. I did use both and I loved it, but I have to say even this shade by itself is so pigmented. The payoff was fantastic. And then it also comes with this really nice highlight that I actually haven't used yet, but this palette is worth it alone just for these two blush shades. I just cannot say enough about Aether Beauty. I'm really, really blown away by the two products I have from this company. I'm sorry, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to have some of this toffee again. No ones. Is it true that if you have sugary things with alcohol, it makes you more drunk? I feel like I'm starting to feel that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to a couple highlighter products. And this is probably gonna come as no surprise to you guys because I've talked about this several times. I cannot get enough of this highlighter. This is the Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust in the shade Pink Moon. This is actually the highlight that I have on right now. I'm actually wearing this as a full-on eyeshadow today, as well as my highlight, which is one of my favorite hacks. It's no fake. It's always gorgeous. I just love a pink highlight. I think it is so flattering. It picks up whatever blush you already have on your cheeks and just amplifies it. And also, who doesn't want a gorgeous highlight that can also double as an eyeshadow? Just lickety split, you're done. See the shape right here? I'm never a fan of that shape, but you know what? We're going to roll the dice. Oh. No. Okay, so the last makeup product I want to mention is a Charlotte Tilbs product. It is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm. I first saw this product on Lisa J Makeup's cheeks, and I actually texted her and I was like, "What is on your cheeks in that video?" Because I think I think I checked the description box and it didn't say, and I had to know. And she told me it was this in Pink Gasm, and I immediately purchased it. This is a very very pigmented product. You can see right here. This is basically basically like a blush and a highlight all in one. I kind of feel like I've learned that the hard way because I try to like do blush and then this on top and it's like, whoa, Nelly. All right, just to show you. Ooh, but that is so pretty though. Moving on to the next product. This is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. And you're like, well, Kate, the outside of it is orange, but wait, the inside, the actual product is pink. I have been using this like when I've done a full beat, like I'll probably use this tonight when I take my makeup off. I absolutely love this. Not only does it take your makeup off, but the papaya is smoothing. And another great thing you can use this for is when you put it on before you wash it off, you can take your gua sha stone and give yourself a really nice facial massage because the slip on this is fantastic for that. My only recommendation is that if you wear contacts, probably take your contacts out because I notice if I keep my contacts in, this can kind of get in my eyes and kind of cloud my contacts. It works just as well as the Pharmacy Green Clean. Honestly, those two products are are basically the same to me. They're both just as good. Okay, so the last product is a cheat because it's literally just the packaging is pink. But the reason I bring it up is because I do get a lot of questions about fragrance. Like what kind of perfumes do I wear? Well, I only have one answer for you and that is Glossier U. If you guys, oh God, I love the smell. If you guys like just a really fresh scent, this is the scent for you. I'm so bad at describing and verbalizing fragrances. So I pulled up the notes for you on the 
Glossier website. It describes it as woodsy and slightly sweet, and it is composed of ambrette seeds and warm ambery ambrox. It's balanced with iris, a white floral for a creamy freshness. It says it's not one of those perfumes you wear to become someone else. Mostly it smells like you. Soft, warm, familiar. And that's exactly how I feel about this fragrance. So I wanted to let you guys know that I started a brand new series on my channel. I'm so excited. It's called a box office beat. I've actually done this several times in years past, but I'm actually making it a thing. I put out my very first video yesterday. It is all about St. Elmo's Fire. Even if it's a movie you haven't seen or you have no interest in seeing, just come and watch my video because I'll make it entertaining no matter what, I promise. Okay, I'm truly sorry if my angle changed. My phone fell out of its holder. Everything's going great. <laughs> so head on over and check that video out. And also, if you guys are new to my channel and you're digging on my content, I'd love if you could hit that subscribe button and also throw this video a thumbs up. Aether Beauty Blush Palette, good job. And cheers till next time. Hmm.